In this video, we're going to look at an extension question on algebraic expressions. The question says, if f of x and g of x are polynomials of degree 7 and 8 respectively, state the degree of a, f of x plus g of x, b, f of x squared, and c, f of x multiplied by g of x. If we look at f, f is a polynomial of degree 7. So an example could be the f of x is equal to something as straightforward as x to the power of 7 plus 5. If we look at g, g could be something as straightforward now as x to the power of 8 minus 3. So we have a polynomial of degree 7 and a polynomial of degree 8. So all I've done is given examples of what f and g could look like. If we start with the first question, if we add these two together, we will simply have a polynomial of degree 8. We can see that this is the highest power of x. So if I was adding a cubic and a quadratic, I would end up now with a cubic. So all we need to do is take now the highest degree. The highest degree is 8. So if we add the two, the degree will be 8. If we just look at that, I'm going to have x to the 8 plus x to the 7 plus 2. And that would be now our new function if we added them. So in this particular case, we could say that this was the h of x, for example. OK, let's now look at squaring f. So what we're going to have is x to the power of 7 plus 5, and then we'll have x to the power of 7 plus 5. We can see quite clearly, if we expand the brackets, the highest power is going to come from multiplying x to the 7th by x to the 7th. So if we have x to the 7th multiplied by x to the 7th, we're going to add the powers, and this will give us x to the 14th. So we can say now that the degree is going to be 14. You could look at something as simple as saying that the f of x, and if we wrote it here, let's take the f of x to be equal to x to the power of 7. We could simply go ahead and square this. We know the rules of indices a to the power of m raised to the power of n gives us a to the power of m multiplied by a. So if we said now that this was f of x cubed, we would take x to the 7th and we would cube it. So we would simply now get 21. So all we need to do in this particular case is multiply 2 by now the degree. So in this case, it's going to be 14. And as we can see with this, nice straightforward examples of what we're going to end up with. If we now look at the f of x multiplied by the g of x, we've got x to the power of 7 plus 5 multiplied by x to the power of 8 minus 3. Clearly, again, the highest power is going to come from multiplying the first two terms. So we're going to have x to the power of 7 multiplied by x to the power of 8. We have the same base, so we simply add the power, so it will become to the power of 15. So in this case, all we've done now is added the powers. So in the first case, we take the highest power or the highest degree. In the second case, we take the degree of f and then simply raise it to this value using rules of indices. And then finally, we add the powers as we're multiplying. So if it said now the highest degree of a polynomial, let's look at x to the power of 9, and then we had x to the power of 11. And if these were f of x and g of x, we would simply go ahead and add these as we're multiplying. So in this particular case, we would say that this would give us a polynomial of degree 20. If we took, for example, now f of x to be x to the ninth, and we squared this, we would have x to the power of 18. If we did it with this one, we would simply now have x to the power of 11, as that's the highest power. So our final answer is 8, 14, and 15.